Hey everyone, welcome back. Chris McCormick, VP of Tour and Education, joined by Blake Smith, our master fitter here in our Scottsdale studio. And today we have an opportunity to take a first look at our Shrixon Mark II ZX Iron Series. So Blake, just give us a little rundown what we're gonna be taking a look at today. Yeah, so uh, Shrixon has been making really good forged irons for a long time. Here at TrueSpec from a fitting application, these things have been fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm excited to see what the Mark II option offers for us. But before we do that, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and feel free to leave us a comment if there's any content you wanna see in the future. And with that, let's jump into it. Let's go. The first one we got is the ZX7 Mark II. On the back of this iron, the change that they made from the ZX7, they have the pure frame. So this pure frame, 80% thicker in the back of this iron where people hit it. So those off-center hits, those center hits, they're gonna be a lot more solid, more ball speed. Really, really solid iron here. Second head in the new ZX family we wanna to touch on is the new Mark II ZX-5. So ZX-5, really similar shaping to what we had in the previous generation with a really nice update in the aesthetic package. So new sole design, new mainframe on the rear of the iron, and really gives us an opportunity to see kind of some of that new innovation and technology that Shrixon's incorporated in this new Mark II ZX-5. The new Shrixon ZX-4 Mark II has some aesthetic uh, updates here. It is a little bit smaller profile, still a hollow body. Um, it has that mainframe as well, just like the ZX-5, um, and it's gonna be really, really fast off that face. So with that overview, let's jump in the bay and see what this new tech does for us. So first up with the new Shrixon ZX Mach 2 irons, want to see that ZX7. So this is going to be that little smaller head profile, kind of geared more towards that player category. So for you, should be no problem. Let's see what we got. feel solid. Ah, I might have made that one. Oh. I can make that putt. And at 210 yards, that was a great shot. It was a little heavy. Let's see how the misses do. Yeah, got there. So Blake, looking at that sample, that was really solid. Great showing for that iron. No outliers that we had to adjust for, you know, just the sake of consistency for the sample. And 137 miles an hour of ball speed on a six iron. Launch was a touch low, but apex height was pretty playable. 5,500 RPMs of spin, and the deviation on that spin threshold at 78 RPMs for that sample Really impressive there. I mean, feel on your end, what'd you notice? So that pure frame that they talk about, that new feature, um, you can feel how solid the, the off-center hits are. I hit a couple of them just like a groove low or just a little bit on the toe, but it, I mean, this sweet spot just got bigger from the ZX-7. Um, it, it just felt like it was easy to hit. I mean, just easier than the ZX-7. I like the ZX-7, so a um, little bit lower in the launch angle, probably because it's a degree stronger than what I usually play. Um, that's fine. I mean, putting another degree on an iron is not that big a deal. Right. Um, but spin rate came out perfectly. I mean, 5,500, that's about, about as good as it gets. Um, 201 yard carry distance. I mean, I smoked these. That's healthy. So that, I mean, if you can believe it or not, is the most difficult and smallest head out of the family. Wow. So really curious to see what happens with ball speed and carry number once we get into new Mark II ZX-5. They're gonna go really far. Well, with that, let's, uh, let's make a little swap here and get into that one. All right, so next up we're gonna hit is new Mark II ZX-5. So it's gonna be still a moderate blade length, little wider sole, kind of bringing into some of that intermediate game improvement tech. And I, mean, I would expect to see with another degree of loft being a little stronger, even more ball speed, more carry distance, may have to bump the green back for you a little bit on your target. Yeah, this one's gonna go far. Yep, wow. 
really, really easy to hit. And that one felt like a miss and it was still way out there. That one's on the toe. See where a miss goes. Yep. Just 205 in the air, no big deal. So taking a look at numbers here from Mach 2 ZX-5, this guy, just as we kind of anticipated, little rocket ship off the face. So nice little bump in ball speed. Launch came up a little bit with that lower, deeper CG. Spin down a touch, but with that increased launch, apex height landing angle, still very playable. So what'd you feel on your end? Yeah, so I like to play stuff like this in the long iron. So uh, this would go really well in my bag as a four iron. I like to see the ball speed increase. Obviously, it's a little bit more uh, de-lofted, but when it goes high like that, I mean, that's, that's wonderful. Um, I do want to point out that they do have a progressive groove patterning. So seven iron through three iron, a little bit wider uh, grooves. And then all the short irons are gonna have tighter grooves um, to, uh, to really create more spin, especially in those wet conditions. Sure. And I do like the fact that even though this isn't a fully forged golf club like the ZX-7 is, we still have that 1020 steel in the majority of the body, then a forged face that gets put together, utilizing an opportunity to move some discretionary weight, also benefit from multi-material construction for a little bit more of a playable iron for those of us in that kind of intermediate to player's distance category. Yeah, and I can tell you if I was blindfolded, I would think it'd be forged. Two pieces of forge technology put together one really good iron. So now we're gonna move into next category in the Shrixon ZX family, and that's gonna be ZX4. And this thing, we are definitely gonna have to move the green back for you because I'm anticipating quite a bit more ball speed and even more carry than what we're seeing. So ZX-5 had a pretty good showing. Now transitioning into ZX-4, we're now into largest blade length, most offset, and now into hollow cavity iron. So strongest loft, six iron that we're testing here, 25 and a half degrees. Like I said, I think we're gonna have to bump this green back for you a little bit, because this thing I'm anticipating, big ball speed gains. Yeah, I think this thing's gonna be a rocket. I mean, when I'm looking at this, um, it just looks fast because of that uh, hollow body. It's got some driver characteristics on this. So just like the ZX-5 uh, Mark II, the ZX-4 Mark II has this mainframe here. So that mainframe in the back of this, of this golf club has a series of groove patterning. Um, that makes it so it's like variable thickness. So there's some, there's some driver characteristics to this, of that face, it's nice and thin, springs that ball off the, off the face nice and fast. Real low center of gravity, you can see it, put it down. Aesthetically, it's more pleasing, in my opinion, than the ZX4, the previous version, because they took a little bit of that, a um, little bit of that girth out of the back of it. So, sure. I think uh, I think this thing is going to be real fast. So, even being a hollow cavity, sometimes you can get a little bit of an off-putting acoustic. This sounds really solid coming through impact. Yeah, it doesn't sound hollow at all. It doesn't feel hollow at all. It just feels solid. That was hammered. That's a good ball. It's flying a long way. It's really going far. <laughs> wow. That's so fast. I can, I can feel the spring effect. So definitely from a ball speed perspective, save the best for last. ZX4 here, not disappointing. 141 ball speed. Launch came down a touch, but like we talked about at 25 and a half degrees on a six iron, this thing is coming out like a rocket. And we were still able to get 105 feet of apex height, 45 degrees on the landing angle. So with your speed, this is definitely something that could be playable. Yeah, you know, a lot of times when I am uh, fitting stuff like this, I'm gonna put something like this in somebody's hands and if the land angle isn't right, then I'm gonna pull it because it's great to get distance and everything, but if it's rolling over the green and you got a chip from the back of the green, that's not much fun. So 
Um, at 45 degrees, this thing gets up in the air. It's high launch, low spin, easy to hit, driver technology in the, in the back of the face of this thing. Um, didn't sound or feel hollow. Uh, really solid feel based on that tungsten low and back. That, that CG was really, really good. It, it, felt, it felt like a player's iron, but it's obviously a game improvement iron. It's nice that even in the game improvement category, they do still give us a forge face. So a lot of that feel and feedback that you're getting is right there in that face tech. Mm -hmm. And including mainframe in that, I mean, even on a miss hit, we're still getting, like you said, some of that kind of components that we've seen and come to expect in driver tech built into an iron. Yeah, and when you look down on it, you're like, okay, a game improvement iron is gonna have a giant top line. It's really not all that big. I mean, it's, it's bigger, but it's not, it's not huge, so it's pretty pleasing all the way around. Well, that's gonna wrap us up for testing with the Shrixon Mach 2 ZX family of irons. If you wanna check these out, make sure, book your fitting, local true spec, and we'll see you next time.